Well, happy holidays, Jeff Bond from Trade Jobs. How the heck are you doing today? I'm good, Edward. How are you, my friend? I am doing fantastic. Uh, I am. I'm just so excited that all of you guys would take a couple of minutes out of your day today. Um, I mean, Christmas is right around the corner. I cannot believe how fast this month has been flying by. Mm -hmm. but, we have got a very special, uh, you know, holiday treat for you. Been totally pumped about this ever since I had the opportunity to make Jeff's acquaintance. Um, you know, it's just been uh, it's it's been really getting me all amped up because uh, Jeff has decided to go out there and conquer a massive problem. And I know that this is a problem because I can't tell you how many times throughout this year in particular that I have been talking to a prospective client, somebody that's interested in implementing workies as a field management solution. And, and they're telling me, you know what? I can't get started right now because unfortunately, I've been called out to the field again. I can't find enough technicians, you know? And, and I've heard this over and over and over again. And when Jeff had reached out to me and he said, I have a solution to this problem. I just about did cartwheels. I was like, well, how can I help, you know? And so Jeff and I have been uh, getting to know each other for a while now. I think, uh, Jeff, uh, what I'd like to do today, um, mm -hmm. at, at the risk of, you know, PowerPointing everyone to death, because that's not anything <laughs> that anyone feels like doing right before Christmas, right? Um, right. We've got a few <clears throat> slides that we would yep. like to share with everyone. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, just a brief introduction. So you guys will give me just one second here. I'm going to pull up our, our handy dandy holiday presentation and uh, we can get started. Sounds good. Oh, wrong page. <laughs> Let's go Take back. Back to the beginning. All I want for Christmas is another tech. Is another uh, tech. Another technician. Um, so, Jeff, you know, tell tell us a little bit about yourself because it's my understanding that uh, you've actually been in the HVAC business for for quite some time now. So. Uh, not just out there solving the the shortage of you know trade technicians, but uh, you yourself are an HVAC business owner, right? I, I am. So yeah, my career uh, after college actually started in career technology education in the high schools, working um, in in here in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex and working with kids through current technology departments in Arlington ISD. And, um, and then I did, I, I left and uh, had the opportunity to uh, go to work for a HVAC contractor here in uh, the Western side of DFW. And, uh, and then about six years ago, a business partner and I um, had the opportunity to purchase the business, uh, which we did and, uh, and still run it today. Um, you know, uh, it's it's uh, we're a residential and light commercial heating and air conditioning company, um, you know, in the trenches with it every single day and see the problems that we all face every day. Um, but the the number one problem for 98 percent of contractors is, is exactly what you said. It is it is finding, hiring and retaining uh, quality employees, you know, primarily technicians, of course. But um, it's CSRs, dispatchers, installers. I mean, you name it. We all need somebody. Right. Absolutely. No, th thank you for that. And, you know, just a, a brief introduction about myself. Uh, again, my name is Edward Medor. I'm with Workies. Uh, I lead our strategic partnerships uh, within the home services space, mainly working with uh, manufacturers, distributors, uh, different business affinity groups. And so, you know, it's, it's been a very busy, busy year, 2023. You mm -hmm. may have run into me at some point in time. Uh, Jeff and I were at Service World Expo together. Uh, I've been at PHCC events, uh, ACCA, uh, working with different partners like uh, CEO Warrior. Uh, so oftentimes you can find me jumping around the country and uh, 
living out of hotel rooms and airports. Uh, but uh, prior to joining the Workies team, I've been with Workies for about a year now. Um, I spent uh, almost 10 years over at uh, good old Home Advisor, uh, oh. aka Angie's List, um, mm -hmm. working in the business development channel there. Um, that's really where I built a lot of relationships with contractors, uh, specifically HVAC, plumbing, electrical. And so, you know, this is not the first time I've heard this this pain point about being mm -hmm. able to find and retain quality technicians. You know, it's been yeah. the bane of everyone's existence for as long as I can remember. Um, I've also sold field service management software before and, and began my uh, career and career in wireless telecommunications. So, uh, you know, done a little bit of everything, worn a lot of hats, but none, none as cool as this Santa hat, right, Jeff? That's right. That's <laughs> so enough, enough with the introductions. Uh, let's, let's get talking about the problem. Okay. Cause, cause it is a problem. And, uh, you know, Jeff, uh, I, I want you to tell me how you see it and how you're going to solve it. Sure. Well, a couple of things. Um, if you're in the chat, Jillian's in the chat. She's our director of marketing. She'll be happy to uh, answer any questions anybody has or, um, you know, be able to engage with you guys if you've got some questions. And, uh, I, you know, the problem is, is that it's the biggest thing that we face, right? We know that our, um, our trades people, uh, career long trades people, they're aging out, right? Our older guys and gals are aging out of the trades. They're leaving and we're not replenishing the bucket fast enough with people to take over and, and, and refill. Um, right now, there are 4 million open jobs um, within the trades, within, you know, the, these three electrical plumbing and, and HVAC trades uh, in the U.S., right? Because everybody's looking for somebody. Um and a lot of that starts right with the at that high school level, that current technology level um, that I was talking about. You know, we went through a very uh, interesting stage years ago, and I think it's getting better. But that stage of everybody's going to college, right? Every kid's going to college, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, where before that we had a lot of great uh, people that influenced our teens and our young adults to learning a trade, to going into a trade school. And, and for some reason, we lost that. We lost that and everybody goes to college route. And, and that's sad um, because we have, we have now created a, a, almost a crisis, whereas we are losing the, you know, 60, 65 trade, you know, age trades people, the 20 and 25s aren't replenishing as fast as they're leaving. Um, so that's a huge problem. Um, you know, not being able to refill the, uh, the bucket there. Um, I think a lot of it too. And I think a lot of, of, of what we see is technology and, and equipment getting harder to work on. So people are, you know, almost afraid now, right? Um, think how far cars have come, um, where, you know, most of us could change our own oil, do some basic repairs. It was just an engine, right? And now it's computer-based and, and uh, you know, you pop the hood and it's basic things now, but nothing like how we used to be able to work on our own vehicles. And the technology changing, it's getting harder and harder to work on. And I think that can be intimidating for some people. So that's, I think that's a lot of, you know, kind of some of the main things that we're seeing just in the problem of, of not enough people at this point. Yeah, absolutely. And then what, what would you say is one of the, the biggest challenges in actually going out to recruit someone? Because, you know, I, I see all the time where a, a local HVAC plumbing or electrical contractor will, you know, mm -hmm. throw some posts out there on Indeed or mm -hmm. Monster, or, you know, just various different job boards, you know, aside right. from there being a shortage, like, is it difficult in posting to platforms like that because you don't exactly have the audience that you're looking for on those types of job boards? It is. So, you know, that's kind of the whole we've been doing the same old thing for way too long. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. How do we find people? Well, we most of us go to the supply house, ask the guy behind the counter, who do you know that's mad and looking to jump or who's looking for a job? We may put a little we may um, create a little flyer to put up there if they have a hiring board. We are putting money into job posts in places like that 
the monsters, the zips, the indeeds that are just the, you know, the Walmart of hiring for lack of a better way to describe it. Right. I mean, I can right. get on one of those platforms and hire a fry cook at McDonald's, um, a school teacher and the CEO of a nonprofit, right? Like, I mean, how there's, there's this variety, which then creates an environment for people, applicants and people to just apply randomly for jobs. So we're getting all these applications of underqualified people, people that aren't qualified at all, um, that aren't even meeting the minimum standards and, and it's expensive. Right. I mean, I'm paying yeah. a ton of money to post on these. Then I've got to maybe maybe I'm paying per applicant I get and I'm getting trash or I'm having to uh, pay to make my post go above somebody else's. And there's just that that's a lot of the problem. And it's super frustrating. It's this guy right here on the screen, man. It's that that frustrating, um, you know, not knowing what to do and, and trying to just find just to find what works. And, and a lot of it doesn't. That's the problem. Yeah, Absolutely. So. Well, I mean, we we have definitely, uh, you know, come come to a pretty firm conclusion here. I think we're all in agreement. There's definitely a problem, right? Right. Um, but oh, yeah. the exciting thing is that uh, you you've got a solution uh, now. Did did you want to go a little bit more in detail about the the hiring cycle and like help us understand more about you know what that looks like? We can. I, what I wanted to do is just kind of show this. And this is kind of that in, in a perfect world hiring cycle, right? Which none of us are, are facing um, where we, you know, we need a person. We then create the, you know, uh, the hiring matrix and the job description or the, you know, the scorecard, what we're looking for. We go through the process of posting ads, um, interviewing, you know, hiring, maintaining company culture. We succeed. We grow, we have to hire again, right? That's how we want it to work. That's how it works. I, I have two guys, uh, I, I hire, I go through the process, I get them in a truck, they're making money, we're making money, we have more business, I gotta hire again. Now I gotta hire a fourth, now I gotta hire a fifth. The problem is, is what we're seeing so much of is we're all just short people to begin with, right? This cycle, which is fantastic, if it works the way it's supposed to, is great. But the problem is that like most of us, I right now in my own company, um, you know, I mean, have, have had people called that, that are looking or have guys, um, you know, th there are people available, but finding the right job is important. But I put this up here because one of the things um, that I'm going to send out to everybody that signed up is just, um, it's an onboarding checklist and kind of a roadmap for, for, this is for service technicians. And it's kind of what those first 90 days looks like because it's so hard nowadays to hire we want to make sure that when we do get that right person in, whether it's a CSR or this is a technician roadmap specifically, that we're doing what's right by them and by our company so that we can retain them long term and make them a really quality team member. Um, so I'm going to be sending that out to everybody that registered um, so that that's something that they can use, hopefully, to uh, you know grow and succeed in their business. Awesome. Sounds good. So now, now for the most exciting part. Right. Tell us about the solution, man, because I think that's so, what we've all been waiting for. We know there's a problem, but right. you, Jeff Bond, have come up yep. with a solution to that problem. So that's what I'm so, that's what I'm dying to find out about. That's what you're here for. So so I, like many solutions to problems, right? We're tradespeople, we solve problems. That's what we do. Um, this started back, you know, three or four years ago, whenever I had one of my best guys leave, I did exactly what I talked about earlier. I posted on multiple job forums. Um, <clears throat> paid way too much money, was at the supply houses, you know, trying to shake down the counter guy, wanting to know who was wanting to move, who was unhappy. Um, and you just, the frustration of it was just kind of that eye-opening thing of that there's got to be a better way. And, and there wasn't. So in talking to contractors and talking to technicians on what, you know, what would you want in a, a job platform, hiring platform, would make you want to use it so that you would find your next job or maybe that next career path and taking all of that and spending years building it. We did, we built a solution and it's trade jobs. Um, so, I mean, kind of the best way to describe it is it's a very niched hiring board um, solution board uh, for the HVAC plumbing and electrical trades. That's what we do. HVAC plumbing and electrical only. We want to capture that market and we want to make a place for contractors, for guys like myself, for people that are, company owners or recruiters within those companies, HR, whomever you are, that you have a place 
for your jobs to be posted that are specific to you, that are specific to our industry. It's where they're going to be. And we want to have a place for people within the trades that work within the trades. I don't care if you're an apprentice. I don't care if you're somebody coming straight out of trade school, if you're uh, a journeyman electrician, or if you've been on the job for 20 years, maybe you're a dispatcher or a, uh, you know, a CSR. If you're in our industry, we want it for you to have a place to create a profile about yourself that you could use to either find that next job, advance your career, or just see what's available out there to you. Okay. So question about it. that though, yep. is mm -hmm. there a cost, you know, let's, is there sure. a cost if I'm a technician and I'm looking for my next job opportunity? Sure. No, no, that is absolutely free. If you are a, if you work within the trades industries at all, and you would just be classified as a candidate on that side, right. it is completely free. You just jump on there and create your candidate profile. It's super easy. Um, one of the things though, that I highly, highly encourage people to do is to fill out that candidate form. It's just a, you know, a drop down and fill in the blank um, as uh, as, as much as you possibly can, because pretend like it's a dating site, right? You're going to want to put as much information about yourself as you can to hopefully man, you know, land that next date, maybe that next person we want to, companies want to be able to see more about you, whether that's your education, your experience, um, something about you, um, you know, all the things that make you, you so that whenever they are looking, you catch their eye. Um, so candidates are completely free. And, and, you know, the biggest thing about trade jobs is that it works in all 50 U S states and Canada. So we're not restricted anywhere, um, you know, within the States or Canada, anybody there can jump on, create their candidate profile file and uh, let people know about them and kind of what they're doing. Nice. And you touched on something a few minutes ago, because I, I, I wanted to make note of this and, and mm -hmm. you know, put a mention out there, because I know that there were some folks uh, that had registered to join us today, whether mm -hmm. you're listening to this on a recording later, or if you're online right now, don't jump off based on what Jeff said. Okay, so right now, mm -hmm. you guys are only open with HVAC plumbing and electrical, but, uh, right. is it correct that, you know, as, as your business expands that you may, uh, diversify and open up to some garage door guys, appliance guys, oh, yeah. I mean, your solution Absolutely. could fit all of the trades business, right? Right. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We wanted to start in, in kind of, a, you, want, you want to start in your own backyard, right? With the people yeah. that you know, um, really make sure that we're providing a super powerful hub for people to use and, and post those jobs and get connected and, and gain employment. And as it grows, absolutely. We're looking at adding, um, adding garage doors, like you said, uh, possibly car or automotive guys, um, automotive technicians, um, welders, a lot of the things that we can get that come that, uh, that, that are coming out of trade schools, um, that we can add to those groups. So, uh, yes. So stick with us. If you are not, if your trade's not there yet, follow all of our uh, socials and that kind of stuff, because it's coming for you. Excellent. No, that's good to hear yep. my friend. So tell us, I, I know you touched on it a little bit, you know, like mm -hmm. I, if I'm a technician, I can get in there, create an account, you know, yep. uh, the analogy to the online dating, I was just going to throw right. out, make sure your profile is not creepy though, because no. <laughs> I've, I've been single this year and online dating is kind of a scary place there. There's actually oh my some, goodness. Uh, e e even uh, like profiles I'm looking at, I'm like, whoa, she seems kind of creepy. But um, yeah, so tell us more about that. You know, you, you need to sure. create an account, uh, but right. then you can also, there's the flip side. The, the other customer that you're catering towards are, you know, the, the businesses that have joined us today where they're right. looking for access to those technicians. So how does it all work, Jeff? Okay, super easy. Um, you know, it, it starts at the homepage and there are, uh, you know, there's two buttons. There's either uh, find a new hire, 
So you're an employer employer, or find a new job. You're a candidate, one of the two. Uh, all you need to do is pick which one you are. It will take you through a very quick registration process so that you get your you know, username and password and it takes you straight to your dashboard. And that's all for you. That is where you do your, if you're a company, that's where you're gonna build your, um, your company profile. You're gonna be able to post jobs. Uh, you're gonna be able to save, um, applicants that come to you and favorite them, all that kind of stuff. And then on the flip side as candidates, it's going to give you the chance to build that profile as well. It's going to give you a chance to save companies and posts that you like and search uh, for any open jobs, whether they're in your area or not. Um, one of the things with being an employer is we wanted to make this easy and pain-free and as inexpensive as possible, because that's the big, one of the major things that we hit with these large hiring platforms and all this kind of stuff is that they're so expensive. They're so expensive. Right. And then, yeah. you know, or, no matter how I'm doing it, if I'm paying to post or I'm paying per, uh, per post or I'm paying per job or I'm paying per applicant, it, it's just a nightmare. So we just made a very easy three level subscription. And it's really based on what you're needing the site to do. Are you needing it to just post jobs? Because with any subscription, you post as many jobs as you want. There's no you know, limit to how many you post. Um, are you wanting just applicants to come to you? Perfect. We've got a low level membership that helps you with that. Are you wanting um, the ability to have candidates come to you, but you also to be able to search the database to see who's in your area? Maybe, maybe the perfect candidates right down the road, but they're not looking right now. So you're able to reach out to them. And then we have our master's level, um, which gives you just the opportunity to uh, kind of become a gold star certified trade jobs contractor where, you know, we ask you, you, you have to qualify for this once you get it and make sure that you're, uh, it's a lot of a space on company culture, what you offer to your employees with benefits and things and kind of how long you've been in business, but just one of those things that would set you apart from other people. Um, but that's it, man. It's super easy because you're getting on there and whether you're a company or a candidate, you're just filling out information about yourself and then companies can post as much as they want. People are able to look and say, I post a job that I'm a candidate, right? Or say I'm an HVAC technician and in filling out my, um, my profile, you know, I've put my education on there. I've put the, uh, my hourly minimum and maximum that I'm looking to, to land within to help, you know, further my career and say a company down the street puts a job on that meets that criteria. I immediately get alerted that a job's become available that meets exactly what I'm looking for. Do I want to apply? Sure. I've hit one button and apply and it shoots all my information straight to that company. My candidate profile goes straight to them so they can check me out, see if they, you know, see if it's a good match for us and, you know, just get back to work. It's so much easier. That's awesome. And so how detailed are the search functionalities? Mm -hmm. Like as you know, if I'm a business owner and I'm looking through all of the different candidate profiles, mm -hmm. right? Because sure. for example, um, you know, one of, one of our uh, viewers today, mm -hmm. David uh, Hutto, he said he really needs to find somebody that could sell an Eskimo an ice cream sandwich. So <laughs> right. can, can I get in there and find out like, who are the top selling guys? Like, you know, based on the search functionalities? So the sales side, not as much on that part of it, because but what you are able to search into is, um, you know, obviously what position you're looking for, because say I am looking to just fill a helper position, right? This is somebody that's, you know, green, maybe very new or very limited um, experience in the industry. Um, you know, I can go through and, and look for those guys, but if I want to narrow down my searches and I want to look for someone um, that is willing, you know, that has, uh, you know, 10 years plus experience, they've got this type of, of licenses, they went to some sort of vocational school, um, but they also need to fit their hourly pay needs to fit within a range that I am comfortable paying that works well for my business. I can funnel all those people down and get exactly the meat and potatoes of who I'm I'm looking for and then reach out to them if I so choose. That way I can really get, I'm not having to waste my time on, on, um, you know, unqualified people. It really helps me search through some of those other pieces that they're not just a warm body. It's the experience level I'm looking for. It's the, uh, you know, maybe they're, they're looking to relocate, whatever that may be. Okay. Solid. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, that's a pretty 
I would say that's a pretty crystal clear explanation. So, you know, why why should I sign up? It seems like a no brainer to me. I mean, if I can find quality technicians and and not be, you know, kicking tires and spinning my wheels, like just finding all the wrong people in all the wrong mm -hmm. places, you know, why, why else should I sign up, Jeff? So that was one of my biggest frustrations when finding people was the applicants that I would get that didn't meet the even the minimum requirements of what I put in the job post. And, and that really bothered me. So that's one of the reasons that we created these searches the way we did to help stop that. But why should you sign up? Three things, save time, money, and then find qualified candidates. We know that if I am searching in a very niched job board of people just within the trades or the three trades that I'm looking for, our chances of, of getting a hire faster or, or much higher, right? Of finding a person, getting them hired, getting them back to work, getting them in a truck will is a faster way to do it. We also know that it's going to be less expensive to use this platform versus the others because we made it, you know, I'm a contractor. I made it for contractors. We wanted it to be something that they would use and that they would get value from and save some money. And then the last thing is just following those, finding those qualified candidates. Like we talked about, being able to really dig into it, search down and find the right person for what you're looking for um, it is key, you know, because, you know, I may not, I may be hiring for a very generic open position, but if I'm hiring for someone specific that I need to be able to put them in a truck and have them turn in, uh, you know, making money tomorrow, that's pretty specific. Or if I need to bring in a management level um, customer service rep or someone like that, I need to be able to get to those people quickly, know that they're qualified and move on. So that's awesome. That's why you should sign yeah. up. I mean, again, like I Easy. said, I, I think I think it's a no brainer. Like I would right. definitely want to sign up. Um, I don't know if you're able to share with us, though, because, you know, here, here's another pain point. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone's always saying, well, gosh, darn it. You know, this this Ed from Workies, he, he wants to <laughs> charge me X amount of dollars for my field mm -hmm. service management platform. Sure, and then sure. I've got my ppc and seo guys over here that are hitting me for yeah. this much a month and then i've got all of the other overhead expenses of running my business so mm -hmm. you know is is trade jobs fairly affordable for me i know you said you've got different options so is this we do we no, you're looking at starting at 299 or 299, uh, excuse me, 245, 399, kind of somewhere within that. Um, and then up to 590 based on our master's level. Um, but what we are, you're going to make me give away my Christmas present early. What we are going to do is, is everybody that registered in holiday cheer, <laughs> that's it, just throwing it out there. Um, one of the things that we are going to do for everybody that registered is we are going to offer them our charter member subscription because we are fairly new company, right? And what we are doing is we are going to be sending out an email. Everybody who registered will get an email offering them a charter membership and trade jobs for $79 a month for life. That's it. You get the professional level, which is $3.99 a month at $79 a month for life. Um, you'll get a way to click through and get signed up for that. It does end at the end of the year. We've been running this promotion for a couple of weeks. I did want to get it out to you guys because I knew we had this scheduled, but it ends December 31st. So we will get that email out to everyone where they can get their professional level of trade jobs membership and they get it for $79 a month for life. That's it. It's just that easy. That, that is outstanding. And that's yep. a perfect segue, guys, because you're remembering this $79 number, right? Well, guess what? Workies charges only $79 a month per user for our ultimate plan. So please ingrain go. that number 79 <laughs> into your brain. <laughs> that's it. Um, you know, and uh, unfortunately, I don't know that I can offer that for life. I would probably uh, lose my head if I made that kind of a commitment. <laughs> but right. um, Jeff, I'm ready to take you up on your offer. Um, no, it, it sounds fantastic. And you said you're going to be sending out uh, information mm -hmm. uh, to everyone that's on the call today or yep. and, and everyone that signed up but couldn't make it because, hey, we get it. Yeah, life gets busy, but we're right, going to send right. out uh, all of that information. But I wanted to open up for Q&A. We didn't really have like a, 
a set time for how long this was going to go today. We figured, mm -hmm. you know, 30 minutes or so, maybe a little longer. So I appreciate everybody that has stayed on. Uh, I'm going to open up the chat right now, though, see if there was any questions. Uh, don't be bashful. Raise your hand. Feel free to uh, send over a chat there. I'm just mm -hmm. browsing through to to see if there's any questions specifically. Yeah, one of the questions was actually around the other trades, um, and mm -hmm. broad floor yep. companies, fence companies. Uh, so unfortunately, we're not there yet, but um, please stay, yet, but you... stay in the loop. Um, you know, stay in Jeff, the loop. Jeff and it. company will be, we'll be in touch. We'll let you know when we're there. That's right. That's right. Just like anything, follow our socials. Um, we're on Facebook. We're on, um, we are on Instagram. We're on LinkedIn. Um, we've got a great, you know, great newsletters that go out. So yeah, we'll be sending out some information to everybody. I wanted to be able to send them that kind of that stuff that we talked about during the hiring cycle on being able to mm -hmm. onboard a technician. Hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier for some people. Um, and then I also have a job template that makes posting job ads very easy. So I'll send that out too, but they'll be getting that charter membership and, um, you know, for 79 bucks a month, um, being able to use the platform as much as you want, post as many jobs as you want. Um, I feel like that's just a great way for people to to try it out and help us grow it and uh, kind of, uh, you know, be ready to uh, be ready to go to work in 2024. It's going to be an interesting yeah. year. So, Jeff, we actually do have a couple of questions coming in right now. Okay. So, uh, Danielle um, Putnam mm -hmm. is actually mm -hmm. asked, is this available in all states? Yes. Yes. Like we said, um, the uh, trade jobs is available. Well, you said in Canada all 50 too, states. right? So, and so all across That's right. the U.S. and in Canada. But Correct. how many techs are searchable? Mm -hmm. Is that something that you can share with us right now? Well, sure. So if you actually on our page, on the employer page is a counter that goes up. Um, that's a live counter of technicians. And right now there's a little over 49,000 technicians um, in the wow. system. Um, yep that you can search uh, that, are, that are there. So, you know, we're adding to it um, every single day and it's growing every day. We, we added a lot through a great promotion we did in October through our Giftoberfest. Um, but, you know, these are people that are getting on there, creating those profiles. And, you know, that's what we're encouraging people to do is even if you're not looking today, create that profile. Um, because you never know when you're going to need it or you never know when your dream job comes open and you're going to miss it if you didn't know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. And we got another question here from David Hutto. Uh, mm -hmm. He wanted to know, and I assume what he means by this is, you know, if I'm a company, uh, business mm -hmm. owner, I'm, I'm using trade jobs, can, mm -hmm. can I use your search functionality by state only or zip code too? How specific can oh. I get? It's as specific as you want. So we've integrated um, Google Maps into it. So you can get down and search as, you know, with a mile radius. You can get okay. in and search with a city. You can search from your shop out. Um, lots of different ways to search for people in your area. Okay. And, Great. and candidates are going to be able to do the same thing. You know, they're going to be able to put in the city they live in, their address, maybe the county where they live. And it will be able to search through any of those. There's, there's no limit to that. So vice versa, a company Either can do or it, however you want to do it. it. Just yep. search a radius. I mean, that that's simple, straightforward. Yep. Now, is this also, David wants to know, is this mm -hmm. also for 1099 contractors or is this only for, you know, W-2 positions? Well, it's depending on how you want to hire. I mean, I'm sure there's okay. going to be people in there that are that create their profile and maybe aren't going to be ten or, uh, or aren't you know full time 1099s. They are, or excuse me, full time W twos. Maybe they're subcontractors, and you know they're going to want to make sure that they put that in their profile. So if I'm looking to hire someone on to my team full time then, you know, that's not the person I'm looking for. But if I'm looking to hire out some uh, some sub work or something and they create their profile that way, absolutely, absolutely. It will work either way. They just need to make sure they're they're specific in, in, in that we're creating their profile. Oh, cool. Yeah. Excellent. Um, any other questions? Don't be shy. I'm, I'm sure yeah. there's something. That Now's you your chance. Talk. Ask away. It is the chance. You know, somebody else is probably thinking the same question, but they, they don't want right. to ask. 
Um, <laughs> but I mean, yeah. I, I honestly feel like this is so straightforward. I mean, it's just right. like, bam, somebody came along and built the best job board ever for the trades where you can <sighs> yeah. find the right kind of candidate, you know? We're just trying to make life easier on everybody. You know, we're all working. We're all working as hard as we can. And and if we can make this process go a little bit faster, save our, our fellow contractors some money, get everybody back to work. That's all we're looking to do. You know, and, and this momentum, we are we are, you know, starting a revolution in in this problem that's that's been something that's affecting all of us for so long. And the um the enthusiasm that we're getting from contractors, the enthusiasm that we're getting from technicians and people in the field, um, it's incredible. So it's kind of like jump on the boat while you can, because now's your chance. Um, because, you know, we will be the largest recruiting hub for the trades within two years. That's what we're looking at right now. So I, I, I get on while you can. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I 100% believe that. Um, and I, I believe in you. Um, yeah. So there was one other question, too, and I think I know sure. the answer to this, but um, I'll, I'll let you be the one to say yay or nay. Are, are you sure. currently like with your higher end platform performing background mm -hmm. checks on the candidates or is that something I as a business owner would still need to do? So that is currently that is something you as a business owner will still do. Now, as we are building out our roadmap for 2024, some of the things we're looking at adding in are background checks, um, some coaching availabilities for people that want some coaching on how to recruit and retain candidates. We are looking at doing some tests where say I really, uh, I'm really wanting to hire someone, but I've had trouble in the past of maybe a technician or, or, or an electrician showing up and not being who they say they are, right? Not having mm -hmm. the knowledge that they say they have, that they would be doing some online testing before they can apply for the job just to try to help get that best candidate to our companies. Um, all these things are roadmapped and coming hopefully in 2024 um, because the goal is that that Trade Jobs does become that all-in-one platform for all of your hiring and recruiting needs for these three major trades. Yeah, no, that would be fantastic. Um, and, you know, even as an additional like platinum feature, license mm -hmm. verification because yep. I, I remember from my time at uh you know angie home advisor that was something mm -hmm. i used to spend tons of time on was you know yep. check looking into all the intricacies of licensing and and for example i remember california off the top of my head you gotta mm -hmm. have a license to have a license in california <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you have so to have a license like, to think about having a license yeah exactly um but um that that might also be another nice feature to to add Absolutely. in there just to make sure that if somebody says you know He's got his C20 that he definitely does have his C20, right? That verification part, you're exactly right. So, and that's one of the great things that we're getting from our charter members as they come on. We are really using those people to help drive where we go. Because if you're a charter member and you took time to, to you know, put $79 a month into this and we want to make sure that your voice is heard. So if there is something that you're wanting, it's all very open. I mean, I'm easy to find. Right. I mean, GetTradeJobs.com is the is the website. I'm Jeff at GetTradeJobs.com. It's just that simple. You can get a hold of us. Um, we want to make sure that we're building, continuing to build the best possible animal for everybody. Excellent. Well, there you have it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pull that up on the screen, though, so that you can yeah. you can write that down. We will be sending out Jeff's presentation. And hey, we made good of our word. We did not PowerPoint you to death. This was only no. you know, a handful of slides. So uh, we'll be sending this out. Jeff will also be sending out the uh, promotional offer, mm -hmm. only seventy nine dollars. I've got a special offer, too, for everybody on mm -hmm. here today. Uh, sign up to see a demo with Workies. I, I am not asking you to go out there and get a Workies tattoo, although it would be really <laughs> cool if you decided to do that. Let me know. Right. I can probably pay for that tattoo. Uh, but, yeah, just give us a shot. Let us show you how we can optimize your business, help you be more efficient. And you know what? What, what, what I love the most about Workies is that we're not just giving you, you know, a field uh, service management application, but we're leaning in with partners like Jeff.
from trade mm -hmm. jobs. You know, we want to solve other problems for you too. So, you know, we are not just your FSM provider. We are helping you solve problems. So a uh, couple free months of service if you decide to sign up with Workies. But first and foremost, just check us out. See a demo. So Jeff, was there was there anything else that you wanted to add, uh, you know, for, for everyone that's still on? You know, just thank you for coming. Um, you know, it takes all of us to get together to solve a problem of this magnitude. Um, and it takes companies like Workies, like you guys that have, you know, said, hey, this is a problem for our customers and we want to help make it better. Um, so I thank you for that very, very much. Your uh, y'all's y'all's help in this has been fantastic. And just thank you for the opportunity to be on here today and um, get to talk to you and, and, you know, wish everybody happy holidays and Merry Christmas and um you know, hopefully 2024 is a, a great year for everyone and we can all uh, get those jobs filled and, and make some money. Uh, yeah, I hope so, too, you know, because uh, all I want for Christmas is another tech, Jeff. That's it. That's, That's, it. All, I'm That's all I want. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for everyone that, that joined us today. Again, a very happy holidays. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Edward from Workies, Jeff from, Jeff Trade, from Jobs. Trade Jobs. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.